Hi everybody, you are watching with tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this neon type effect in Gravity Designer. So we in the end of this tutorial we will achieve the editable text and you can type wherever you want. Let's say this plain neon as well as share its style so you can apply this effect with single click or if you don't want to follow this tutorial and learn everything from scratch in Gravity Designer, you can go to tutorials and just download the effect itself. So let's get started here on tutorials.net. Alt N or Option N on your Mac and I'm gonna size my document with a block color. First of all, let's cover it with a rectangle. Click R to uh, grab the rectangle tool and cover your entire artboard. I'm going to the field to black and lock it on your last panel by clicking this padlock icon. Next, let's grab the type tool and let's type the neon. Holding shift key and uh, first and first, let's uh, but actually the color of our in our appearance uh, panel is not very important because we are about to add the fill after setting some um, typeface parameters. So first of all I'm gonna change the typeface to Nunita. Uh, I prefer to work with the rounded fonts here so you can uh, choose the Nunita from the web fonts or download it from Google library and there's a size to all 104 pixels click enter to apply the changes so we achieved our neon uh, neon text and let's add the fill and uh, change the color of our fill by clicking this uh, circle set the hexadecimal value of ef f9 dc Click enter to apply the changes. Let's add the border to our type. So click plus right opposite the border panel and let's change the color to FF00 FF. Click enter to apply the changes. Next, let's uh, print up a couple of effects. And first effect is the blur. So click the blur icon to add the blur and I'm gonna uh, customize my blur by setting the radius to 1.1 1.1 click enter uh, next we need to find this apply to elements this to bring up this drop down and set it to border only and we are done with our blur let's go to the more and uh, I'm looking to the auto glow effect so to find it you need to bring up this drop down menu and select other and from other choose auto glow uh, with our auto glow I'm gonna set the uh, color to FF0088 FF00 Eight, eight. Click OK. You see, we have this nice outer glow. And next, go to the radius and change the radius to eight. Go to the intensity and decrease the intensity to 0.4. Click Enter to apply the changes. You see, we have this very nice. Uh, pinkish color and let's uh, continue with uh, one small auto glow effect so let's go to the more auto glow effect this time we are going to be uh, work with the uh, color of uh, a4 9393 click enter to apply this color and uh, next let's set the radius to 21 pixel 21 and intensity decrease intensity just to 0.9 click 
click enter to apply the changes so you see this is a kind of a casting almost casting light so um, it's uh, supposed to be a light that emanates from the bulb but it also should cast some light to the surface and um, to really make it stand out let's change slightly our background uh, let's prepare our background so i'm gonna unlock this rectangle and uh, go to the fill value and uh, bring up the uh, radial gradient dialog box here from radial gradient i'm gonna work uh, primarily with this light color so uh, this light color stop i'm gonna move it into the dark side uh, let's say this 242424 uh, works for me very nice now let's grab the actual slider and let's work also with this black color color stop okay i believe it's fine it's working like a charm last but not least don't forget guys to add the to create a new shared style uh, in order to create shared style head over to appearance panel to the very bottom of appearance panel find this drop down style and create new shared style click on it give it an appropriate name sorry and click create and we guys are done now let's check whether it's work or not i'm gonna create a star light here and apply the neon and this is how my friends you can create a very nice neon effect here in gravity designer i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you do don't forget to give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends thank you for watching have a great day